everyone, my name is Erica and I'm here to talk to you all about Dr. Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. Talking about the speech, it's very important to examine the historical, social, cultural, and political context in which the speech was delivered in. It's hard to appreciate the speech in its entirety and the way that it needs to be appreciated in uh, without examining its rhetorical situation. In 1963, Dr. Martin Luther King had delivered a speech to a large group of people in Washington, D.C. and on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial to commemorate the 100-year anniversary of the Emancipation Proclamation. In 1963, people of color were still experiencing large-scale segregation and discrimination. Jim Crow and um, segregation were still um, done via very large in, in many areas of the country, um, um, among many other forms of systemic and individual acts of discrimination. I think about his opening line, I have a dream. It is such a powerful line in the way that he delivers it. Um, and in the, his, in the significance that the phrase has for many people. Um, I have a dream. Uh, many people as children are taught about the American dream. Um, the idea that if you work hard and you have integrity that you can achieve whatever you want to achieve. Um, I think that his I have a dream line acts as an attention grabber for both groups that are in the audience. Um, both people of color and white people. Um, I think that it works as an attention grabber for people of color because it validates their feelings about how they've been treated. Um, and I think that it works as an attention grabber for um, non-people of color, for white people, because it gives us perspective on um, you know, how deep racial um, discrimination goes, that even the most basic of things, the most private of things, a dream, can be affected by discrimination. Additionally, I think another reason why this speech is so well known and revered is because the message stood the test of time. Um, Dr. King talks about how he warns against gradual progress. Um, however, I feel that he knew that progress was going to be gradual and that it wouldn't be achieved overnight. So the Civil Rights Act was a huge success um, and a huge uh, step forward in um, equal rights for people of color. However, um, People of color are still marginalized and discriminated against today, and I think that's why he said to keep marching forward, um, to don't don't look back. Um, there's still progress to be made after each success. Um, you know. Additionally, he talks about um, children. He says that he hopes that one day um, children won't be discriminated against. Um, with their skin color and that if they're judged, um, let it be by their character and not their, the color of their skin. I think the reason why this is so significant is because um, children um, are a symbol of purity and innocence to many people. Um, when you think about a child, you know, you think about just how innocent they are um, before the world has spoiled them. Um, but unfortunately, you know, for many children um, in minority groups, um, they are privy to the evils and the injustice of the world at m a much younger age. And I think that this is significant for many people. And I think the reason why this is so substantial is because it is one of those ugly truths that needs to be confronted um, so that progress can be made. Um, you know, if, if not for us, do it for the children. Um, nobody wants to see kids being treated like that. So I think that's why that line has so much significance. And I think that um, Dr. King's speech was delivered in such an effective way, um, not only because of his message of hope, um, even though, you know, some of it is so bleak and dim, um, it was true. And I think that in acknowledging that it was true was at least one step forward and um, not to give up hope, to keep marching forward, um, those lines just keep coming back to me when I think about that. So I think the way that he organized the speech was very effective. Um, he was a great orator. Um, I think that most of how effective the speech was and the impact it had um, emotionally and socially and politically and culturally. I think that m much of it has to do with his actual presence um, and his leadership. Um, 
So, yeah. All right, thank you. That's all I have to say.